Hello, Islam Begum, everybody. Hope you're all safe, sound, and healthy. And I'm back because now we need to talk about the exact fears and concerns that we were voicing only recently. Remember the questions I asked? How long will this protest last this time? Is this it? You see, on one side you had Imran Khan and his wife saying that we need to stay till the end. On the other side you see the very expected, the very predicted violence by the army and the government towards the people, towards innocent unarmed civilians. And then you see that they repeat that violence against the civilians in the middle of the night when they announced their crackdown or raid and they killed As of now, the news is coming that it's almost, is about 200. That is what the news outlets, the international news outlets are reporting, that the number has gone up to 200. 200 people dead. Now, here's my problem. You just let them die in vain. This is the problem I've always had with the PTI leadership, which I keep on and on saying that, you know, this country is taken over by traitors and you will find traitors everywhere. I have yet to find a Pakistani I have yet to find a Desi who has a bloody backbone, who has the guts to actually push forward. You know, apart from Imran Khan, to be honest, I haven't found anybody. Okay. I have not found a single person apart from Imran Khan and the ladies, the ladies in PTI who keep on pushing forward. Okay. And I keep on and on thinking, what the frack? is wrong with the people of this country. But at this time, I can't even blame the people because the protesters were so peed off. They did not even allow Amin Gandapur to move, as you know. About on three different occasions, they pushed him back and told him to remain where he was. This shows the level of trust. This shows that the people are serious, but they doubt the seriousness and the sincerity of the PTI leadership. You know why? Precedent. Look at the precedent here. We have a precedence of the leadership constantly making a joke out of these protests, out of these campaigns, out of these rallies. Every time they call the people, the people are struggling. Thank you very much, you mofos. They're traveling from all over Pakistan to reach Islamabad. And what do you do? You get 200 people killed and then you decide to back off. If this isn't treason, I don't know what is. If this isn't betraying the trust of the people, I don't know what is, okay? Do you honestly think that Nelson Mandela or Malcolm X would have done this? Do you honestly think that Imran Khan would have allowed this to happen? There are three things that you could have done simultaneously. And this even the people of Pakistan, the normal people, every single person is saying that one thing that you should have definitely done, which is the one thing that even Imran Khan did before the elections, is tell everybody, okay, even if you haven't reached Islamabad, wherever you are, stage a protest. In your cities, in your areas, wherever you are, don't need to come here. You don't need to come here. Just stay wherever you are and initiate your protest. Continue your protest. Stage a protest. Okay? That everybody, every single person you talk to in Pakistan will be saying the same thing. That why, why didn't people just, just stay wherever they are and continue the protest and just shut down the whole country? Remember, this is something I've been saying for bloody two years now. And people are saying it too. Okay, so this was like freaking common sense. He failed on that front. I mean, Gandapur, I'm sorry, but he failed to deliver on every front. Because as I said, there are three things you could have done simultaneously. At the very same time, okay, simultaneously, you could have simply told everybody, stay wherever you are, continue to stage a protest. Then the dead bodies, keep the dead bodies with you and continue your protest. Make an even more aggressive protest with the dead bodies. That would have scared the bejesus out of the army and the government. But you people, you gave them their way again. You again. And if if this is why we do not trust you, this is why we do not trust the so-called leadership of PTI. This is why we keep on and on doubting their sincerity, their loyalty towards Imran Khan and towards us, the people of Pakistan. Because why else would you back off every single time We know what you're doing. You're trying to make a joke out of it so that at the end of the day, the next time you call people, people are going to say, fuck off, we're not coming. But you know what? As I said before, this can backlash. If this this country finally grows a spine, 
you know, if the people you're dealing with are now actually, they, if they have the, the spine that they've actually showed yesterday by pushing a mean Gandapur back into the car, if they continue to grow that spine or if they actually decide to work on it, then the next step that they will take is not back off and not even listen to you, but there will be a mob revolution where they will now surround everybody and kill them off, which is what the bloody well should do, okay? Because this is the third thing you should have done. Thank you very much. You should have told them, stay wherever you are who, and continue your protest. You should have kept those in Dechok with the dead bodies and said, we are here with the dead bodies. We claim justice for them. You should have continued that. And at the same time, you could have told the others on their way, those in Lahore, those in other parts of Pakistan, go and surround the governor house, go and surround Jati Umra, go and surround GHQ, go and surround the courts, go and surround all the relevant offices and buildings and houses of the perpetrators. If you had done these three things, we would have really screwed them in less than 24 hours. Which is why I really have you know, deep suspicions and concerns regarding what you did. You caused 200 people to die in vain. You had no right to let them die in vain. If these 200 people were mine, I would have stood there. I would have stayed there. I would have told everybody, that's it. That's it. We're not moving now. We're now going to surround all these motherfuckers and we're going to fuck them up. This is what Imran Khan would have done. This is what Nelson Mandela did. This is what Malcolm X did. Okay? Don't you dare try to mess with us. And the people of Pakistan, for the, for the last time, please, crying out loud here, do not wait for the leaders to call you. Do not listen to them. Be yourselves. Take it in your hands. Do whatever the hell you want to. Make it into a mob revolution because these people are definitely not worth it. They are just not worth it. The police shot at you. They fired at you. They, they committed arson. They shelled. They threw tear gas. And yet when they got trapped in their own moronic activities, you went and rescued 50,000 police officers. Seriously, you should have smacked the bejesus out of them. You should have unarmed them, okay? You should have disarmed them. You should have just taken the weapons away. And by the way, you people of the KPK, you have the Klashenkov culture. You have the rifle culture. Arm yourselves. We are dealing with, not with human beings. We are dealing with monsters. We are dealing with traitors. And you know, you, the army, you soldiers, what the fuck are you? First of all, your families should be deeply ashamed that you are in the army. If you had any shame, if your families had any shame left, they would have made you get out of the army. Because I'm sorry to say, I've never seen a more spineless body of soldiers in my entire life. Where, I mean, what are you going to protect our borders? I mean, seriously, you, people like you, how can you protect our borders when you couldn't even protect us from your own chief of army staff. You couldn't protect us from your own supervisor's wrong decisions. You listened to them and you shot at us. You, the police force, the security forces, you shot at your own people. How the fuck can we trust you to man our borders? You, you, you pathetic losers, you're going to man our borders? You couldn't even protect us from your own bosses. Can you be any worse, any much more of a pathetic loser than you already are? Just go screw yourselves already. This is why I keep on saying the army needs to be dismantled completely. The police force needs to be dismantled completely. The intelligence bureaus need to be completely dismantled. Everything needs to be dismantled. That's it. Let's start from scratch. Enough is enough. This is me signing out for the office.